welcome back. This is a showing, I don't, review, I don't know what to call it. I haven't figured out what to call these videos yet. Um, but of whatever to call it, whatever this video is called, of a of Fruits Basket Collector's Edition Volume 3 of the English version, which was just uh, released on July 26th, which is today. So I went ahead and I went to Barnes & Nobles again and went out and bought it. Um, so as I said with the previous ones, you can also go out and get them at Amazon or Right Stuff or anywhere else manga are sold. Um, but yeah, so the first one, not the first, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't, know, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, the cover is what I'm trying to say. The, the cover of the volume, once again, it doesn't actually have a jacket like uh, the previous ones either, but um, the cover of the volume of three has Shigure on it. And of course the back has Kagura on it, which um, she has a, look how giant this Kyo plushie is. A giant Kyo plushie. Um, and then there is the spine with Shigure and Kagura on it, and I think this one might be a little bit easier to see, um, but of course the, once again, like, that's the picture and has a little white background, and then everything else is green, and the green like it was, um, just like in the Japanese version, the collector's edition, um, this one, they have a dark green, kind of a darker green for the text, and then a slightly lighter hue of, uh, the green for the the actual rest of the spine. Um, so Ford doesn't have a jacket, which is normal. Um, so you open it up, you get the little flap, which uh, it has a sugary in his little... I always thought this picture was really cute with sugary in his little reading book, his dog form reading book. Um, so here we have the colored pages. Nice colored pages. Get Mickey. Kyo. And then got all these little pictures over here with both the original Japanese covers for volume 5 and volume 6. Then we got Hana and Megumi. Got the nice chapter cover for uh, chapter 25. It's all nice. Um, and then we got the uh, the table of contents page, which, although it's right there, um, what I always liked about this picture, not, well, not this picture, but these these are these like are a set of pictures that Natsuki Taki did, to where from this point on, like, whenever in real life it became when it switched to years, when it became a new year, she always did a picture that was like this, where it was the two zodiac animals of the old year and the new year, um, showing up doing their little dance together, which is, she does quite a few of these over the course of, um, the, over the course of the series. And of course this one was, it was going from the year of the monk, the year of the rabbit, I don't know what it says, but say monkey, that doesn't make sense, the year of the rabbit to the year of the dragon. Um, so it has of course Momiji and Hattori on it. Um, um now, the, in terms of content, we're, I'll have to go over it. I'm pretty sure in terms of its actual, the actual main content, of course, is going to be the same as it was in the Tokyo Pop and the Japanese version of the book. It's just the bonus content from what I've experienced and had and I showed you guys in my videos. It's just the bonus content that's most likely going to be different. Um, so this is the end of the volume. And, of course, we have a new thank you page with Kagura and Shiguri on it, which I like to say, even if... Even if you, I really, of course, I really do highly recommend getting the, uh, the, the collector's edition volumes. But even if you don't necessarily have the maybe the money to get them, if you have just have the chance to like see them in store, just read the thank you pages because these thank you pages are, they're really interesting and they're really kind of, I don't know, they're fun to read and they're kind of heartfelt and you get to experience. You get to hear what Natsuki Taki was saying about this series, and kind of her look back on it. It was really cool. Um, of course, and there's a preview for uh, Volume 4, which comes out in August. I think it comes out at the end of August, I believe. Um, so there's that. And then, of course, there's the translation notes. Um, and then, of course, at the back here we have Kagura in her pig form. And then, of course, once again, uh, advertisements for Twinkle Stars, which I've no clue when that comes out. 
maybe October, maybe November, somewhere around there. And then, of course, and I don't, again, I don't know how to say her name, but however you say her name in Witch's Force, which actually also came out today, which is July 26th, but I didn't pick it up. Um, I, I probably won't pick it up until I pick up Volume 4 of uh, Collector's Edition. That's fine. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, that's really all I had to say. Um, I'm going to be making another video most likely tomorrow. Well, actually, not most likely. I am going to make another video tomorrow for the um, Fruits Basket, the 12th and final volume of uh, Fruits Basket Collector's Edition Japanese version. It actually came in today. I actually, see, I, ha I have the box right here. I just haven't actually done the unboxing of it yet. I'll do that tomorrow because I don't really have time right today. I just have time for this one. Um, but other than that, that's really about it. I'm gonna make that one, and then I'll, when I, as soon as I get around to it, I'll do the um, comparison videos. Which I think this time around, I'm probably going to read the Tokyo Pop version and then the uh, Collector's Edition, and then th that way I can see what's different and between them, and then go and kind of go through the Japanese version, you know, for those differences, um, just so I can see if there's actually any differences overall, instead of looking at the Japanese version read, and then reading the Tokyo Pop version and then going, oh wait, why isn't the this in the Tokyo Pop version? Or why isn't this in the Collector's Edition but it's in the Tokyo Pop version and then having to re-get out my collect, my Japanese version. So, yeah, that's what I'm probably going to do. It's still going to take me a little while to do, but thankfully I'm still on summer break at the moment, so I still have some time to do that. Um, uh, but other than that, so... I expect to see another video from me tomorrow. Um, bye, I guess.